Um, my name is Maria Castagna. Uh, I'm doing the BS in Bioarchaeology. Um, I was always really interested in Vikings, so for doing archaeology in England, I think York is the place if you like Vikings. Um, also, the city is incredible, uh, but also the department has the Golden Teaching, uh, is part of the Russell Group, is really uh, research focused, but also has uh, a great um, teaching mechanisms, is really focused on abilities, on analyzing and not as much in memorizing which makes it really dynamic uh, and I, I think it's a great way of learning. We put into practice everything we learn. Um, instead of memorizing and just doing a multiple answer test, we are assessed on writing, analyzing, uh, excavating, or, or if we're doing artifacts, we're playing with the artifacts, we're doing bones, uh, we're putting assembly and skeletons. So we're, we're always putting into practice what we have learned, which makes uh, all the learning experience more round and more complete than just being in front of a, of a lecture and just listening. I also was really lucky because in the practicals I did artifacts, but I also did the practicals for human bones. Uh, which was great experience, both really different but uh, really entertaining in their own way. Uh, and in general, uh, writing the articles in teamwork, uh, in artifacts, in essays, as the only way of, not the only way of assessing, but the in general, the most common. It's, it's really good put in practice. My dissertation is on uh, Viking DNA. I'm maximizing the evidence of an article called Margarian et al. 2021, if I'm not wrong. And that has, it's a really big paper with a lot of information, uh, but it's not fully um, talked about the information that it contains. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking a case study in Orkney and I'm taking some data and I'm putting it together with some other isotope data and analyzing the particular, the particular uh, eight case studies. Um, and trying to figure out what happened in Orni with the Vikings. Um, uh, if it was uh, a complete um, replacement of the population, if it was uh, cohabitating or if it was just peaceful or war. It's, it's seeing what happened because it's a really complicated archaeological um, con context and register. So it's trying to help them out. I think my plans after finishing the bachelor would do do a master's, the master's in archaeological science or some bioarchaeology here at York. Uh, it's great. It's, it's really focused on, on, on bones and, and DNA and science that I really like. And then hopefully do a PhD. And I, I think I would really like to start sustain the, the academy area of it, just investigating but also trying to contribute uh, maybe in a uni or something like that.